gonna talk. Hey guys, are you guys going crazy with this uh, lockdown? As we ease into our second month of lockdown, I realized that this lockdown has made me more relaxed. Uh, well, for me, I'm slowly and steady easing into this uh, new lockdown lifestyle, whatever you call it to be. Uh, uh, the pre-lockdown meme, I'm that mum, you know, I wake up super early because I have to fetch my girl to her primary school before 7 or by 7. She's a class monitor, you know. <laughs> She cannot afford to be late and ultimately that responsible lies on me. I cannot afford to be late. I mean, so we have to chop, chop, chop. Faster, Maya, faster, Maya. And I'm always hustling in the morning. I'm always rushing. Glub down my coffee. Get my coffee. Without even uh, chewing my breakfast. I, sometimes I don't even have my breakfast in the house. I have my breakfast in the car. And I will always have to hustle and rush them so that you know, we are late. Brush your teeth, change your, change your uniform. And Everything must be like a thick work, you know. I cannot stop. There must not have been anything that stopped me in between. Otherwise, the other thing that is scheduled on my daily routine would get uh, uh, would get all bizarre and all kelang kaput. And um, because of that, I'm not sure when has it become a habit of mine to rush, to make things, everything on the dot. Constantly focusing on what do I have to do next? What am I scheduled to do? At any given day, I have things that I need to accomplish. I have a list, a to-do list that I need to do. Like today, I need to go to the post office. And after that, I need to run to the bank during the lunch hour. And have, I have to somehow eat my lunch in the car. That sort of thing because I, I don't have any other time to do so. And when I come back, I have to rush for dinner. Because when the kids come back, we need to shower them. They need to have their dinner. And I need to uh, pack their bags. I need to clean the house. I need to make the baby sleep. I need to breast pump. And I'm always rushing, you guys. I don't know. I did not realize that it was quite stressful, tiring, quite high strung, high high pressured. I realized that this lockdown has made me more relaxed. As I consciously cut down on that internal struggle of mine to do so many things at once, practice some of these uh, rituals which I find it quite empowering. One thing for sure, for sure, that uh, I realize if I take off something that is on my to-do list, something that I, it has been there and it has been nagging me for such a long time and I did not do it. I take that thing off and you know what? It doesn't matter. When I sleep in later than usual, then I normally would allow myself to. If I take afternoon naps, oh, oh my gosh. To completely ignore something, and it's okay. And to ignore that mess that Adam has made, that is okay. I just let it be. To let that Lego sit there, that is okay. And when I taste my bittersweet coffee, when I smell it, just take the time to... <sighs> or when I sit at the sofa and listen, talk to my husband, share a joke with him, and when I get to dance with the kids in the evening or when we enjoy a movie, family movie night, we enjoy quite a lot of family movie nights during this uh, lockdown. Or in the morning, when it's all peaceful, the kids are all groggy when they just come out, you know, and in their pyjamas and they smell the top of their head and they have that sort of pillow smell. Oh, so nice! And then you listen to their morning banter. I never used to have that kind of time or that kind of luxury to just sit at the sofa and listen to them talk. I actually get to sit down and smell their pillow feet and their, their baby smell. I have the time to bake and try new recipe. And I have the time to read my storybooks and to touch it and to smell it. Oh. I listen to audiobooks for 30 minutes before I sleep. Sometimes instead of audiobooks, I will watch YouTubes. Because of this lockdown, I, I don't have anything much planned. All the conferences are cancelled. And it, everything is cancelled. But for now, I'm just gonna bask in this moment. I have been letting go of that sort of a perfectionism. Not about you, but turns out for me, living in this kind of a 
lower stress level is <laughs> actually life changing for me quite enjoyable read the below down but my husband even said that i yell lesser and i i laugh more you know take a moment instead of doing i experience it it's such it is non-groundbreaking but it's such a revelation to me man smell the coffee as i become more aware of my surroundings that it made a quite noticeable improvement in my life uplift my mood my spirit so i really understand maybe this is the the reason why so many people are going forward meditation yoga whereby you are you are quiet you are in peace and in touch fits nicely with my aim of living my life with intent and this is cannot be more intense or intent any more than this here's to taking care of ourselves i hope you enjoy bye Get out of my face. Mum mum. What the heck?